Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about cryptocurrency price charts and how to read them. As you can see, I've loaded up my trading tab in the Shrimpy application. This tab will look very similar to many cryptocurrency exchanges where you'll see the order books, you'll see this chart in the middle, and you'll see the trade history for all of the orders that are being executed on the exchange for this trading pair. Right now, I've selected the 15 minute time period for candlesticks. What that means is every single one of these little candlesticks is a 15 minute period of time. Throughout that period of time, when orders are being executed, these trades right here, these candlesticks will be updated to reflect those changes in the market. So if the uh, price of an asset increases over the duration of that period, a green candlestick will take the, the place of this time period on the chart. So as you can see here, the price of Bitcoin increased over this period, so there is a green candlestick. But during the next period, the price of Bitcoin decreased over that period, so we have this red candlestick. The green and red candlesticks are created by looking at the open and the close price for the period. Say at the start of this period, we had a trade that was at around 11,600. The open price for this candlestick would be 11,600. And then at the end of the candlestick period, 15 minutes later, if the last price in that period for any trade that was executed was 11,619, that would mean this candlestick had an open price of 11,600 and a closed price of 11,619. There are more elements to this candlestick besides the open and the closed price. These elements are called the high price and the low price in that period. Sometimes these might be the same price as the open and close, but sometimes they may not. For example, in this candlestick, you could see this long tail looking thing above the candlestick. That means the price of Bitcoin increased to the top of this, this little wick right here, and then it decreased again before the end of this period. In a similar way, you could have these wicks go down. So this is a red candlestick here. The price went all the way down to this price point, and then it went back up before it closed. These long wicks can tell us how high or how low the price went over that time period. Great. So beyond the open high, low, and close price, there's also the volume. The volume tells us how much was traded over that time period. So if you hover over this graph here, you can see this number right here is the volume. So for example, this green candlestick, this little green candlestick, had a volume of 526 Bitcoin. And then if we go back here, we could see the volume for this red candlestick had a volume of 397 Bitcoin. So as we oscillate over time and the price increases or decreases, we can see how much volume was traded on the exchange to get that price over the, the course of that period. So 15 minute periods aren't the only periods that we can use for looking at candlesticks. We can change this period, for example, to a one minute candlestick period. That means instead of 15 minutes, each one of these candlesticks will consist of one minute of time. So that means these candlesticks will be created quicker than the 15 minute candlesticks and the volume on each of these candlesticks will be smaller than the 15 minute period. So you can see this last candlestick has only had 12 Bitcoin of volume so far, and we could keep going back and looking at the volume and looking at the increase and decrease of the price of Bitcoin over these one minute periods. So let's zoom out a little bit we can see that over the last couple minutes, we have this relatively flat period. But then here, during this period, the price of Bitcoin increased pretty quickly. 
And we could tell that because of the candles going up as well as the consistent green for each of the candlesticks as it climbs in price. And let's look at one more time period here. Let's go to one hour candlesticks. That means each one of these candlesticks has one hour of trades. So you can see this is, this is the latest hour. So this candlestick is not completed yet. So the last candlestick in each period is an incomplete candlestick. That means the trades are still being added to this candlestick as the price continues to increase and decrease. So you, you'll see that this candlestick is actually moving. And over time, it'll increase and decrease until it's finally closed, and then the next candlestick will begin. And let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit here. We could see over the last couple days, what the, the price of Bitcoin has been doing. So it increased pretty sharply over here and then it decreased. And then there was some oscillations and further decrease in the market. So that's it for this video. If you wanna learn more about cryptocurrency price charts, continue watching this series as we explore the different components of cryptocurrency price charts, as well as a lot of the other data that's presented on this screen here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. We hope to see you on the Shrimpy application, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.